video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite little concepts out of 3 by one out of trips. This is just a great little concept that I think you can utilize uh, basically to beat every defense in the game. And what I really like to use this concept for is whenever my opponent is running a lot of Mabel coverage, one of the things that you're going to notice with this concept is kind of specific spacing. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, again, hit that subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, in this video, we're talking about the trips tied in formation. This is a concept that you can do out of several different formations as well if you want to. Um, but I think that it is definitely best out of the trips tied in and we actually have a full Trips Tight End ebook. So we're in the New England Patriots playbook. If you want to learn my entire uh, Trips Tight End offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description to my Patreon membership. If you sign up for the Patreon, you're going to get access to every Madden 22 defensive and offensive ebook that I've released and every ebook that I will release while your membership is active. It's only 10 bucks a month uh, to be a member, super cheap. And we've got, I think, 13 ebooks in there. Uh, with a couple more on the way here in the next couple of weeks. So the play we're going to talk about is drive post. And this has to be, I mean, this is a, it's just a very smooth and really simple concept that I think you're going to really enjoy today. So it's a true left to right read, which is what I, one of the other things I really like about it is it just, it just really, really does a good job at um, kind of mixing up. So it's, a, it's something that it's very similar to PA counter go, but it's a little bit different. And there's a couple different ways we can work this concept. So we could literally just like snap the ball and run the play and it would work. Um, or what I like to do though is I love the tight end streak. Okay, I love this tight end streak. Now another thing that we could do with this is we could actually motion uh, Gallup on a hitch to the right side and put the running back on it out. So you see here it looks like this. And what we're going to create is basically a little spacing concept here, which most of the time this hitch is going to be open. Now, the really important piece of this of this play and the part that I really want you to pay attention to is where exactly this post route is going to get to on the field. So if you take a look here, we're at the 20 yard line um, and I'm just going to run this and I want you to watch the post route. Now, the setup that I like the most with this is to streak the tight end and flat the triangle receiver. Um, just because it's going to give us a, a really smooth read here. But what I want you to watch here is this post. You're going to see that from the 20-yard line, he's going to get to about the 40, um, just in front of the 40-yard line. That's about 20 yards. If you actually think about what most people do in regards to their zone drop defense, you're going to get 30 to 20, 25 to 30-yard like deep zones. Typically, like a cloud flat would be 25 to 30 yards if they're doing standard zone drops that most people will run out of the Mike Blitz 3. And then you're also going to get about a 5 to 10 yard purple. So what you want to try to do is attack that 15 to 20 yard range, and that's where this drive post play does a really, really good job of that. Okay, So you get this nice little post route that, again, from about the 20 yard line, you're going to see here, comes right in this little pocket. And as you can see, that's about a 20 yard dot. Okay, it's about a 20 yard route that you're going to want to be able to hit here. And the beauty of this is it's really simple. Um, but what it does also is it gives you this high low over the middle of the field and it creates what I call levels concept, which is basically we're attacking, you know, these levels of the defense, if you will. So when you merge that, you don't need to have a flat on the backside either. And so what's cool about this is let's say you both. That's why I like to motion this hitch over. Because now I can attack several different levels of this defense, and I really put that yellow zone on the right side in a very awkward position. Now, another thing that most people like to do whenever they're Mabel coveraging is they only yellow zone one side of the field, and then they're going to basically lurk in the middle of the field. Okay, so it's going to look kind of like this. And I want you to notice how open um, not only your hitch will be, but not, but really, if you take a look at the whole progression here, we're going tight end. Nope. Now we're looking at this little hitch flat combo. Okay. And then we can come over here and we can hit this route to CD Lamb. Okay. So it's a real natural uh, progression. And I really do think that this is one of the better setups in the game. If you run like this, this little ghost, a uh, little block and, block and release ghost, notice that it really holds zones really, really well. And as you can see, again, we're able to hit that. So that's cover three. 
Uh, let's take a look. We talked about cover three and cover four. Let's take a quick look at cover two. And so cover two, obviously the user, right? We're going to play kind of chess with the user. Typically the user is going to go with the post and then he's going to come back on the in route. So as you can see this post, it can either be about a 20 yard or it can be about a 25 to 30 yard depending on the zone that is over in that field. Okay. Depending on the zone that is over in that field can determine how deep it's going to go. Now, just to kind of try to illustrate this, I'm going to back this guy up. Hopefully, he'll keep drifting back. I don't know that he will, but I want you to take a look here. Yeah, he's actually going to come down, unfortunately. But, I mean, as you can see, that's a that's a cover two cloud. And as you can see, we're able to throw it over that as well. The other really big thing that I wanted to hit on in terms of how this play is going to work is how this play works against man-to-man. -man. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about man-to-man -man is because you're going to start to see a lot of people uh, play more man-to-man. -man. This is where if you want to put your running back on an out route, it's going to make this even better. But what you're going to see here is this post will really do a pretty good job at beating man to the sideline. Regardless of abilities, regardless of route running, that route is just a route that seems to do really, really well uh, whenever your opponent wants to try to run some man coverage. I'll show the route again. Here you're going to see he's going to get inside position. He's going to cut to the inside. He does that little double move. And as you can see, that rounded post really does a good job. The, in, this, in the same way, on the back side of this, this concept here, on the back side of this concept, now you've got this little kind of rub, natural pick, natural rub. And Amari Cooper, as soon as he gets inside position, is a great read for you to be able to hit over there as well. So this play just basically, like I said, it just beats everything. Uh, let me show it real quickly against match coverage. Typically against match coverage, we're going to want to look to the post. And what you're going to see here, we look to that post. And then you saw the three wreck actually carried that post. So we should have checked it down to the, um, we should have checked it down to the, to the end route. And I'll show you that real quick. So boom, boom. And then you see you've got this read. And look how open that is. It's just a simple check down. But to me, I love the way this play works. And like I said, there's a couple different ways in which you can run this play that can make it even more effective uh, depending on where you're at. Now, let's say, for example, that you're over here on this side of the field. What you're going to notice is we can get a, a little bit of a different type of motion um, that we like out of this formation. And basically, you could, you could block. Like, let's say you want to block your tight end so that you can maybe roll out. Well, you can bring this guy, motion that guy to the left, and as you can see, he's going to come into this little secret spot right here. And then I can go ahead and put my out route there. And now, as you can see, I've got the nice, nice high-low reads all the way across. And if you notice here again, you see how, see how uh, that route, that post, will get underneath those 30-yard clouds. So that's another real big reason why I really like this little uh, concept because I'm about the 20. Right about there, I'll be able to throw it. And you see, again, it's about a 20-yard dot, so it's going to get underneath a lot of the popular uh, zone drops. But if they're just doing standard zones, like let's say they're doing like a standard cover three with curl flats, what you're going to notice is it's, it's still deep enough and can still get over the top if we want to try to pass lead that up. So this is just one of my favorite plays in the game. I thought I'd share it to you with you this evening. I want to thank you guys so much for your support. And like I said, if you want to check out the uh, full Trips Tied In ebook, be sure to join my Patreon membership. There's a link in the description below if you're watching this and you want to check out that Patreon. Just head on down to the link in the description below and you can sign up today for just 10 bucks.